I started gaining the weight back. I started, mm -hmm. you know, slowly getting a little bit heavier and fluffier. People just look 20 years older because they're carrying 20, 30, and 40 pounds of excess baggage. And then diabetes settles in with a lot of people. Yeah, I would go to the gym two weeks and then fall off for a week, go to the gym for three days and then fall off for a week. Probably within the first two weeks, I had dropped at least seven to 10 pounds. Definitely was the game changer. Helped me lose an additional 30 pounds. I looked at you that day, I was like, wow. She's lost a ton of weight until I finally looked at myself and I said, I feel like I'm gonna friggin' die. I said, I was a champion bodybuilder back in the day. I competed in the Mr. Universe, the biggest bodybuilding shows in the world. What happened? Hey guys, Coach P here. I am with Ashley Castro, correct? I've known Ashley over 10 years. We used to train together at another gym back in the day. And Ashley has gone through a complete body transformation. She's been following a lot of my training techniques over the years. She's seen me do it at the other gyms, the high rep, the high volume training, the drop set training. But Ashley has lost a significant amount of weight since I had last seen her. So Ashley, how about um, tell everybody why it was so important for you <clears throat> to start your journey the way you did. Life changing, you know. I wanted to change my life and get a head start on being healthy, longevity in my bones, longevity, um, just all in all, you know, I wanted to be a healthier version of myself. Did you have any health issues prior to us getting together or while you, before you started your, your dramatic weight loss? Because the last I saw you, you were heavier. It's probably been a year, you were heavier. And then all of a sudden, I, you, I saw you come into the gym last week and I'm like, holy shit, Ashley, wow. You look fantastic. So what, what what turned on the switch for you? Honestly, you know, gym has always been a passion of mine. I found it in a lifestyle, mm -hmm. but it was my diet. Yeah, diet's everything. I fell off that and it showed. <clears throat> I started gaining the weight back. I started, mm -hmm. you know, slowly getting a little bit heavier and fluffier. So implementing the diet back into the training right. definitely was the game changer. Helped me lose an additional 30 pounds. 30 pounds is a lot of weight to lose. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I looked at you that day, I was like, wow, she's lost a ton of weight. Everything, your muscles were popping. Everything yeah. was starting to show through. I can't wait for this 16 week transformation to see it's, the next. It's, it's gonna be a game changer. You're gonna see muscles like you've never seen them before. We're gonna dial you in. You could train two hours in the gym a day. When you walk out of the door, you could fuck that whole diet up. For sure. And then everything you just did in the gym was a waste of time. The diet we're gonna have you on is gonna be custom to you it's not a cookie cutter or you got to eat this six or eight times a day or oh it's only chicken and broccoli on only understanding the keto diet is a science and once you understand that science of food and i'm going to be teaching you all that you really start seeing the dramatic fat loss while you're retaining the muscle and people are like, well, like, I need my carbs when I train, I don't get a pump. That's the biggest bullshit lie there is. All food turns into glucose. Glucose is what helps you get that muscle pump. If you don't burn the carbs you're taking in, you're gonna get fat. So why not go on that keto, zero, a no, you know, a very low carb and burn your body fat while you're training. And that's what this program is designed for. And the protein intake is designed for what you're gearing your training to, what kind of transformation you want. And a lot of people don't do that. They just give you the cookie cutter version and just, just follow this and don't ask any questions. I tell you, ask me questions, ask me questions, ask me questions. And I've been sending you uh, recipes that I come across. Hey, here's another one you could try. Here's another keto one, here's another. There's so much more to keto than people realize. What difficulties did you have in your training that led you up to the point where you and I got back and in, you know introduced in, into um doing this 16-week transformation I got complacent um I started falling into old habits bad eating habits I started you know slacking at the gym not doing the right forms just getting comfortable and I fell off of being consistent what made you decide to come back and start training with me I don't know <laughs> why <Yeah>. I did this. <laughs> no, because uh, truthfully, you're you're very educational. You uh, make sure that you know your form is right, meal plans are on point, and the results, man. People get results with you. All right, guys. Simple exercises for those over 50. The 12-minute workout. We are going to start with dumbbell curls. Ashley's got a set of five-pound dumbbells, and she is going to execute the exercise using proper form. She's gonna keep her shoulders pulled back and she is gonna curl the dumbbells this way for a hammer curl. 
That way for a bicep curl, you can do them both ways. They are both very effective. Straight up and down is a hammer curl, palms upward towards the ceiling is a dumbbell curl for the biceps. They both work the biceps and the hammer curl also works part of the forearm. The brachialis part of the bicep into the forearm. Very effective exercises. You can do this for three sets of 25, doing it both ways. You can do this for 25 straight. You can do the hammer curls for 25 straight. The choice is yours. They're both correct ways to do it. The next exercise we're gonna go into is the shoulder side lateral, where she is gonna bring the dumbbells out to the side, just above shoulder height, straight up and down, just like that. And this is gonna work the deltoid muscle, the side part of the shoulder, the side of the deltoids. Nice and effective. Again, do three sets, 25 repetitions. Very good, get you a little bit of a burn going. Get some blood into that muscle. Execution of the exercise is crucial. She is not going fast, but she is doing consistent controlled repetitions. Another exercise for the shoulders are front raises. She's gonna have the dumbbells out front and she's gonna raise them forward, eye level. That is gonna work the front part of the deltoid. Just like that, nice and controlled. No motion, no rocking, no momentum. Everything is a controlled exercise, it's a controlled movement. Very simple. If you're not very experienced in the gym, these exercises will help you get the muscle conditioning that you need to take you to the next level in your training, where you're doing more different exercises or you're using more weight. Another exercise we're gonna do is for the triceps. She's gonna turn to the side, she's gonna kick the elbow back, and she is gonna do tricep extensions, single arm or double arm. The choice is yours, they're both correct. She is doing the single arm dumbbell tricep right now. Now she's doing the double arm tricep, working the back part of the arm. So we've done biceps, we've done triceps, we've done front shoulders, and we've done side shoulders. The next exercise we're gonna do, squats, dumbbell squats. She's gonna have the dumbbells right at shoulder height, and she's gonna go into a squatting position, controlled going down and coming up. Nothing is fast, there's no spring action. She's controlling her quadricep muscles. Her form is perfect. She is controlling everything through her quadriceps. She is not bouncing in this exercise. This is gonna work your quads, your thighs, and then we're gonna spin around and we're gonna work some hamstrings where she's gonna have the dumbbells in front of her, her feet are gonna be together, and she is just gonna lean forward, stretching the hamstrings. This is very good to do after you do a quadricep exercise. Some nice hamstring stretches, just like that, nice and simple. And another exercise we're gonna do is a shoulder press. So she's gonna spin around in front of the camera. She's gonna hold the dumbbells at shoulder height, and she's gonna press the dumbbells upward. Just like this, nice and controlled, no momentum, all muscle engagement. And she's breaking a sweat, imagine that. 12 minute workout and she's breaking a sweat. Again, three sets is something I recommend, 15, 25 repetitions. You gauge it based on your experience level and your conditioning. Don't get discouraged if it's too much for you all at once. In time, it will get better and you'll be able to do more and more. Start small, work within your means, don't overdo it, and in time, you are going to progress. I recommend three sets, 15 to 25 repetitions. Take a break for about a minute and then start another set again. This will take your training to the next level. It will advance you and get your muscles conditioned for more intense training. Also in the link in the description, I've got my Transformation X training program, that 16 week comprehensive program that I've got my client Nick on, I've got Ashley and several other people on, and this program works. Reach out to me, click that link in the description. You are gonna get my 43 years of knowledge in this industry in this 16 week program, and I am gonna get you in the best shape that you have ever been in. What was our first workout like? We just did it the other day. It was a shoulder blaster, super set, high repetition, low weight, and it was a great workout. How'd you feel the next day and the day after that, sore? 
fatigued? I, I definitely felt a little fatigued. Um, muscles kind of felt sore, but in a good way. Yeah. Good engagements that I, I contracted muscle. It was it was a, good, a great workout. Did you get that skin splitting pump you always hear me talking about when we did the yes. workout? And I, I, I love it. I, I want it's it. crazy, isn't it? Yes. I it's it. crazy. People don't understand that. They think, you know, six to eight reps, eight to ten reps. If this doesn't do it, you've got to go into that high, high rep range in order to get that maximum blood pump. And people just they don't understand it until they do it. It's like, oh my God, I've been not getting this. You know, it's it's definitely a game changer. What exercises in that shoulder did you like the most? Man, I like that uh, that front uh, bar raise that you altered that I used to do incorrectly and now I'm doing it. The upright rows. Yep, that one, <clears throat> that one, that one was definitely. Yeah, that's a game changer. I like that's, that one. That was a game changer. Everyone drags the bar up their body. It's, you really need to hold the bar out about six or eight inches and then come up and right. that really engages the front delts. It's, it's really, it's the best way to do that exercise. Not that the other way is wrong. Bringing the bar out and raising it up is a much better way to engage your, your front delts. Did you ever want to give up and quit? after all these years when you weren't making the gains that you wanted? I definitely I definitely got discouraged a couple of times. Um, never on the verge of quitting though. I, get, I mean, let me retract that. Actually, I guess you could say I did quit a little bit when I fell off my mm -hmm. my, my diet, you yeah. know? And that is a, a way of, you know, stepping back and slowly getting discouraged, you know? Sure. But like I said, I, I hit that switch back and, and implementing that diet back in, definitely. A big thing I hear from a lot of people is they use the word diet. The way diet was explained to me by my coach back in the day, a diet is something you start today because in 12 weeks you got to go to a wedding or you have an anniversary, you're going on a cruise. There's a plan for the diet and once you hit that plan date, you blow the diet. You go off it because, hey, I'm here, I'm getting some good pictures, I look good and oh, look at all the shit that got in the buffet and you blow it. It's not a diet when you do this, it's a lifestyle and you can go off and have your cheat food every so often that you want because your body gets so dialed in to doing this lifestyle of eating that if you want to have that piece of cheesecake once in a while, you can. You want that piece of lasagna, you want that pizza, you can do that because your body is so geared towards this keto plan. Having those meals every once in a while are really beneficial to your diet. It's when you have them all the time that really, really screws you up because you just get fat. You can't eat like that all the time, especially when you get over 40 years old, your body changes and metabolism changes. And that's people just look 20 years older because they're carrying 20, 30, and 40 pounds of excess baggage because they're not changing their diets and then diabetes, settles in with a lot of people, and then you're really screwed. How far into your keto plan did you start seeing the results and people start seeing your results? How far into it? Because keto works differently with everybody. Some people respond after three or four days, they start losing. Some people it's two or three weeks before it really kicks in and they start losing. What was it with you? It was probably within the first two weeks I had dropped at least seven to 10 pounds. Yeah, it's about right. And people were just like, man, they can already see it. That's right. Granted, I didn't see it myself because, you know, yeah. I see myself every day, but people that hadn't seen me, they're like, I could see that you're slimming down. Your face looks slimmer, so. And it makes you feel good. Of course, it made me want more. That's right. About two weeks, I started seeing it. When this, and we've only had our first week of training. When this training kicks in with you and your muscles start getting more and more conditioned and you're getting stronger, more reps, more better pumps, and your diet is tightening up even more and more where you're burning more body fat, you're gonna see drastic changes. Your muscles are gonna get rounder and more conditioned and the definition, I mean, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen because I know what my 16 week plan does. I did it with Nick and um, Nick was probably 40 pounds overweight when Nick and I started training back in September of last year, it might've been August, and he's followed full carnivore diet and has lost a ton of weight. And if you look at his before and after photos, and I've showed you Nick's before and after, it's like, is that the same person? Is another one of the reasons why I wanted to get back on with Right, him. and Nick has been dedicated. I mean, he's OCD, I mean, when it comes to this, he doesn't stray. And that's the kind of mentality you need. Right but every so often you gotta have that slice of pizza. I don't say go to Burger King and order the left side of the menu twice because that food will just tear you up. Right, right. But eat a good healthy cheat right. type of thing, you know? That's what I do every so often. What are your current fitness goals? What do you wanna see happen? I want to lower my body fat. 
percentage. Currently at 23%. So okay. just want to be in a healthier range. I don't, I don't, I'm not necessarily trying to be in a bodybuilder. I'm not trying to be in competitions. I just right. want to be a healthier version of myself. Look better, feel better. Yeah. Look the sure. part. Feel confident too. At one Absolutely. Point, I didn't have that confidence. And, Absolutely. And, Absolutely. Get that back. Yeah, for sure. What advice would you give to somebody starting out on the keto and the training? What would you do? Honestly, uh, my advice would be stay consistent. I It took me, honestly, about two to three months to keep that consistency. I would go to the gym two weeks and then fall off for a week. Go to the gym for three days and then fall off for a week. Right. And the diet and the eating habits were the exact same so right. if you want results you're not going to see it overnight right you definitely got to stay consistent and take pictures right because that helps you see yourself every day you don't really notice maybe your waist has slimmed down your arm might have shrunk mm -hmm. take pictures man and go back and look at your pictures from two weeks ago right you don't want to get discouraged so take those pictures and and refer back to it and and stay consistent really Consistency is key with this diet and this training because what you do outside of the gym is just as important as what you do inside of the gym. This is a lifestyle. It's not a, what I said earlier, a diet, something you start today for the eight week vacation you got coming up. It is a lifestyle of eating. And I reversed my type two diabetes and I have a video in the link in the description on how I reversed my type two diabetes with the keto diet. And I was an insulin diabetic for over 10 years. I had put 100 pounds of excess body fat on. It was 10 pounds of body fat a year on three different types of insulin medications and never once did the doctor tell me, change your diet. It was just take more of this, take, but no, now start taking this drug and take some more of this. Until I finally looked at myself and I said, I feel like I'm gonna friggin' die. I said, I was a champion bodybuilder back in the day. I competed in the Mr. Universe, the biggest bodybuilding shows in the world. What happened? I did my research and it was diet. Diet is key and I reversed my type two diabetes. I'm down to 265 pounds with about 12% body fat from 340. Consistency, time in the game, it's not an overnight success story. And until next time, you guys have a great day. Peace out. Thank you very much, Ashley. Thank you.